In this video, let's study how Python works with functions, piece of codes that we can reutilize based on our needs. So let's take a look in the different variations we can utilize functions and their purpose. First example we are going to see is the very simple function, a function without parameters and without the return statement. It means without giving back a value for who has called this function. In this example, we have a, a function defined, so we have to use the def keyword, and inside the function body, we have the printing of a message without any parameters, and here is the function name. Okay, so this block of code here highlighted means the function definition, its body, and its header. And here below, we have one call for this function. We use the function name and the parentheses to mean we are calling that. However, here inside the parentheses, we have no parameter because this function demands no parameter. So, if we execute this code, let's see what we are going to see in our output console. So, here is the message called from the say hello function and it's called because this say hello function was called here in function in line 6. Now let's take a look if we can call another function but this time with parameters. Okay, so let's comment this first block of code and uncomment this part of the code. Right, so what we have here? Here we have a function with two parameters, a and b, and this function is named sum because it's going to sum the a plus b and give us the output, but it's going to print the output in the console inside the function body. It's not returning the, the sum result for who has called the function. So here we are calling the function passing two parameters, the parameter 3 and the parameter 5. The parameters here are being formed as constants because I have typed directly the parameters here inside the function. Now let's take a look. And here we have, here we have a function with the sum 8. Okay, it worked perfectly. 5 plus 3, 8, it printed sum 8 here above. But now let's take a look another way we can utilize this function with having the parameters not as a constant, but we have the function definition, okay. But now using variables, we have one variable x and another variable y, and here we are going to send both. Both are passed as parameters. But now they are not constants, they are variables. Executing this code, we have here the sum 7. Okay, all fine. But here there is one very important concept we have to understand that variables of primitive types are passed as values, not references. And what it means? It means if we change these variables inside the function, this change will not affect their values outside the function. So here, if we print the variable x and the variable y, okay, and inside the same function, we change a, a to be equal to be equals 1 and b to be equals 0. If they are passed as as values, changing the variables inside will not affect them outside. Okay, running that now, what we have, they, has been, they have been printed as 3 and 4. Okay, we don't have they being printed as 1 and 0 because they are not references, they are values. Okay, so it is very important. Another thing important to know is if the function has two parameters, it has to be called with two parameters. 
if we call the function here without any parameter, let's take a look of what are going, are going to happen. One exception, because it's missing two required arguments. Right, so we have understood about the parameters and that the primitive types inform that as values, not references. Okay, now we are going to comment that part of the code. And let's take a look in another situation, in some, a function in which sometimes we want to call with parameter and sometimes we would like to call without parameter, that is this case. But for that works, we need to say, say the parameter has a default value. So here I say, the country parameter has one default value. However, however, if I inform a different parameter, this value informed will be utilized. But if I inform no parameter, it will assume the default value. So here we have some, some examples. One call of the function without parameters and two calls of the function with one parameter. Here one hard-coded parameter and here one parameter informed as a, as a variable. Okay, now running this code, we have here, when we call without parameters, it accepted this value because it's the default value. However, here we have two another options which we have informed. So, this is one alternative for when we would like to use a function sometimes with parameters, sometimes without parameters, without having any error. Okay, the default values for parameters we already have saw. So, now let's verify if we can work also with parameters, but now not primitive types, but with arrays, with lists. Let's take a look here. Lists are different types of variable because they are objects. So, um, first of all, I will comment these two lines and just will execute that. And it will work as we are read, um, read, which, uh, utilize it it's because we have a function with one parameter, it's from the list type, so we can run the list elements and print all elements of this list here below. Perfect. But in this case that we are utilizing a list, if I ask to print the variable here after call the function and inside the function we change the variable state, this change will affect the, the variable value outside the function. So, in this last line, I'm saying list remove your last element. In this case, I run the function and you can see here, the strawberry value was removed inside the function, but this change has affected outside the function. It's because list is an object and, and an object is passed as reference always. So, change it changes that occurs inside objects reflects outside the function. Okay, so it's important to know when passing objects as parameters. The, the next point is the return statement. The return statement has the goal to, to say the function is going to perform some calculation and the result of this calculation will be returned for who has called the function. So here I have one call to the function, I inform the number two. Instead of printing the function output inside the function body, as we have done until now in the previous examples, and here we are not going to print nothing inside the function. The function is performing one calculation and we are going to take the output of this calculation and send back for who has called the function. And, and the client of the function can decide what's the proper way for displaying that. If it's a occurrence, it could be preformatted. If we are using different clients, console, web, or any other, we can decide the best way for printing that output. So the function goal is to make the calculation, not to print its output format. 
So that's the case with the return statement. We can say the value out the value of the function that's the result of its processing is going to return for who has colored that. So we can assign the function output to a variable. In this case, we have here the square of two, it's four, of course, and it's printed here below. Okay, now we have a very nice way to use functions that are with arbitrary parameters. It's nice because sometimes we want a function and sometimes it's, it can be colored with no parameter, sometimes with uh, two parameters, one, three, four. So the parameters could vary. So here, for instance, this function is going to receive a set of numbers and it's going to perform the calculation and will present to us the output of its calculations. It will send all values that are passed as parameters. So here, nine, four, two. All of them are going to be sent. Um, but the function will send all of them. So the, the list of arguments, they are, they are treated inside as a list, but I don't have to, to pass a list. I, I pass the values individually. So I can call the function this way with three parameters. I can call with two parameters. I can call that with one parameter. And let's try. I can call that without parameter. So look, one function that has a arbitrary list of parameters can be called in many different ways with three, two, one, no parameter. And the implementation of this function make a sum of all the parameters, assuming all of them are numbers. Execution that, what we have. Do you see? Three parameters, nine, four, two, 15, 9, 4, 13, just 9, 9, no parameter, 0, because it initiates with 0, there is no argument in the list, so its output is 0. So here it is, one video with a short explanation about how to use functions in the Python programming language. The source code for this demonstration is available in GitHub, you can take a look below, below at the, the video description, and if you have any doubt about this you can just write that at the comments. Thanks for watching.